Hey, Florida Travelers, Chrissy here, and it's beginning to look a lot more like fall in the Magic Kingdom, and with fall comes the start of Disney's After Hours event, Boo Bash. So if you're thinking about going, I'm going to go over what I love, what I didn't love, and all the details to help you decide if this is going to be a good addition for you and your family this fall season. So let's get into it. Boo Bash is a new after hours event that started on August 10th and will go until Halloween. This event is separately ticketed and you don't have to purchase an additional day ticket in order to attend. The tickets for Boo Bash can range anywhere from $129 to $199 per adult depending on the day that you go. The event officially starts at 9 p.m. and goes until 12.30. However, they do start allowing guests in as soon as 7 p.m., which gives you a few extra hours to enjoy the park and be there just in time to see the happily ever after fireworks. So you're probably wondering with this kind of price tag, what comes with it? Well, there are a few exclusive things that you can expect while you're there. One of the biggest pros about going to one of these separate ticketed events is that there will be a lot less people in the parks. It is one of the closest ways that you can get to having the park all to yourself. So with the minimum number of people in the parks, all of the rides are basically walk-on with little to no wait times. If you're at the Magic Kingdom during the day and there are a few popular rides that you're just not able to fit in, then most likely you will get a chance to ride it while you're at Boo Bash. For Boo Bash, you can definitely expect that there are going to be treats throughout the park. Once the event officially starts, you'll start to see these blown up treat spots all over the park where you and the kids can pop in and do a little bit of trick or treating. One of the other treats that you can pick up all over the park are the boxes of popcorn, bottled soda, water, as well as all you can eat ice cream sandwiches and ice cream bars, which are included in the price of your ticket. But if that is not enough snackage for you, you can always purchase a few themed offerings like the Foolish Mortal Funnel Cake that is topped with Oreo crumbles, purple vanilla ice cream, and green drizzle icing with M&Ms and candy goals mix. But you're probably not just here for the snacks, right? You want to be able to see your favorite characters while you're here and you can absolutely see a few of them sprinkled throughout the park as you do your trick-or-treating. But one of the best ways to be able to see them is definitely catching them through one of the cavalcades that make their way throughout the park. There are four different cavalcades that are scheduled throughout the night. And of course, Mickey and Minnie are one of them, which I absolutely loved seeing and was able to catch them a couple of times throughout the night. And of course, no Disney Halloween event would be complete without spotting Jack, Sally, and Oogie Boogie roll through. But I have to tell you, my absolute favorite star of the cavalcades was definitely the steampunk version of the Dragon Maleficent. This amazing structure towers over you as it makes its way through the streets of Magic Kingdom and it was amazing. And yes, it really does breathe fire. If you want some really fun souvenirs to go home with you, the stores are already packed with a bunch of Halloween themed gear and merchandise that you can stroll through on Main Street. And if you have a photo pass, there's also a number of really fun, unique photo opportunities that you can capture throughout the night. One thing that I do want you to keep in mind is that this event is pretty short. With only three hours to be in the park, it is really difficult to do all of the rides and the special events, even with the minimal number of people in the parks. You will have to make sure that you pick and choose what you want to do at the beginning of the evening, because if you choose to do all the rides, you definitely can, but it will leave you with little to no time to do 
anything else. So my tip to you is, is pick what you want to do ahead of time so that you can see and do all of the things that you do want to do while you're there and check those things off your list first. You can always make your way through a treat station or a snack bar on your way to your next destination. This event is definitely expensive. There is no getting around that. And if you're looking for it to be the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party, I'm sorry to say that it falls a little short. However, if you're looking for a really fun way to be able to celebrate the Halloween season and would like to have the chance to enjoy the Magic Kingdom with a lot less people in the parks, then this might be worth it for you. Overall, I had a really fun time and enjoyed my hours at Boo Bash, even though I didn't get to do everything that I wanted. If you were heading to Disney World this fall and want to know what food that you'll have to check out while visiting the Epcot Food and Wine Festival, then you'll have to check out my list of the top 13 dishes to try while at the Epcot Food and Wine Festival that just popped up on the screen. So until next time everyone, I hope you have an amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.